Yeah. Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, we have 55-year-old lady, uh, chronic hypertensive, dyslipidemic, hypothyroid. She presented with rest angina. T was treated as non-ST elevation MI anterior territory in December 2011. Angiogram done in January 2012 showed this eccentric uh, lesion in osteoproximal LAD which was subsequently stented in the, in the coming February month of February in 2012 this is the post plastic picture LAO caudal view showing the 2.75 by 23 drug eluting stent uh, this was in 2012 again in June 2014 she presented with dyspnea on exertion class 3 NYHA uh, check shoot done in uh, 2014 August 2014 showed these lesions in the distal LMCA uh, instant restenosis in LAD the lesion in osteal uh, ramus Currently, she is having angina on exertion and dyspnea on exertion NYHA class 2. ECG shows a normal sinus rhythm, left axis deviation with T wave inversion in anterolateral leads. 2D echo shows no regional wall motion abnormality. She has a non infarcted left ventricle, wall thickness preserved with grade 1 mitral regurgitation. Her refusal for CABG surgery has uh, led her here. With that, I hand over the mic to Dr. Matthews and Dr. Menon. Okay, now, now that uh, you have the basic background of the patient, uh, she underwent the angioplasty for the LAD in one of our public hospitals. The angioplasty angiogram did sh uh, show good result there was no pinching of the side branches but ostium of the ramus was had some <coughs> haziness that's all now we'll show you the angiogram today yeah run the play next So you have the trifurcation lesion, yes? That's right. We have a tri trifurcation and we have yet to decide what, uh, whether it is going to be three stands, two stands. The first stand Definitely was minimum of two stands. The first stand was, uh, was uh, uh, <coughs> from LAD through the uh, Bifurcation to left main or only in LAD? How it was? Only in the LAD. Only in the, only in the LAD. <laughs> this is where we are. The previous picture. See that nasty restenosis of the LAD and pinching of the ramus, uh, very tight lesion very bad angulation ostium of the circumflex uh, also is uh, pinched yeah and we understand that the patient okay. refused uh, surgery. surgery yes redo uh, i mean repeat i mean if she refused surgery of course and uh, even if she does in she, i feel she qualifies for a lower syntax score and uh, i I feel she should do well with intervention in A. Okay, now what we have done is uh, before you we came live, I have some more information for you. Uh, next picture, we have uh, documented the wiring technique, right was normal. Okay, we are trying to wire into the next. Go back, go back. Go back. Just run it. Ready to run. 
रन ट्राइंग टू गेट इन टू दी एलरेडी वी हैव टू टेक या वी हैव टू वी डिड नॉट नाउ वी आर वायरिंग द एलरेडी नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट Next. Way, your surgeon put, no, go back. Uh, put a Venus graft to LAD instead of Lima, which is a routine. Do you know why it was that they decided to go for Venus graft for LAD, not for um, left anterior, uh, left, inter, uh, left internal mammary artery? He she did not go for surgery. <laughs> Now we have two wires. Next, Not operated, okay. that is one in the LED, one in the circumflex. Uh, you, you see this. Uh, the IVS catheter is already there. <coughs> and uh, let us. Uh, you want to you, uh, show them the IVS pictures, please. The first one, LED. This is the IVS pictures of. Uh, LED, you can see a large diagonal coming off. This is a segment which is diseased beyond the standard segment. There is some calcium in that area in the th six, 6 to 9 o'clock position. Now the stent will start showing up. It's little underdeployed, but not grossly. Approximately, there is some more ingrowth. <coughs> and, and that is the left main, basically disease free, 5 millimeter. We have taken all the measurements. I don't want to delay the uh, whole process showing all the timings. You have seen that. <coughs> now I'll show you the circumflex. We did the uh, IBIS run from the circumflex also. Uh, 2.5 to 3 millimeter artery, slow, slow, stop there. You uh, Now you can see the circostium and part of the ramus, I mean LED stand protruding into this. Across the, the, the circumflex. I mean, sorry, ac across the ramus, which has got a very tight lesion. So, that means uh, wiring of the ramus is going to be very, very tricky. You will have to get the wire into the uh, circumflex and pull back and wire into the ramus. That is going to be the technical challenge. This part, because it's going to be difficult, I left it alone so that we can do it together. Can you, are you able to see the wire tip? Show, take, may, may enlarge it please? No, I don't think you can. Take short on this. Focus it better. Very sharp bend. I have kept it all set and let us see whether we will be able to do it. <coughs> Get the balloon. So you have the one wire in uh, I have taken a C on blue. Wire and now you would like to Enter the intermediate, yes. Go to earlier quarter. That's right. That's right. And that we saw from the IVUS uh, that um, we have to avoid the struts, otherwise, it will be going to be difficult.
Okay, a small test. I'm going, taking this wire straight into the circumflex. Okay, now I'll pull back. Uh, small test. Ajitya holding. Okay, sorry. Small test. There we go. Save, save that. <coughs> Show that picture again. See, we have got a sharp bend, go into the circumflex. I am pulling back slowly, making the tip look upwards towards the ramus. And allow the tip to fall into the vessel and go in. The purpose of this is to avoid that struts. Excellent, excellent uh, technique of wiring of intermediate artery. Now, uh, I've already got a mosaic uh, NC balloon uh, loaded on that. It crossed very easily because we are not in the struts. We are just dilating it. The, the NC balloon from Merrill, it's a good balloon. I'm sure all of you are very familiar with these, uh, these devices of Merrill. Okay. Now what do we do? What is the strategy? You want to advise me on that? Are you planning? We have three wires. What are you planning? Are you planning to, uh, <coughs> planning to use dry leaching balloon for the rest of these lesions? Um, I'm not very comfortable using the dry leaching balloon because I've not seen uh, fantastic reproducible results. Here, uh, what I thought the instant resonosis is partly because the stent selected, we have the information that it was a 2.75 stent. You have seen in the IVIS that the, the stents are uh, under deployed definitely approximately. That is where the maximum resonosis is. So I would go and redeploy the old stent properly, maybe use a cutting balloon. And uh, you, you use a three cutting balloon and uh, inflated bell and implant the stent properly and then come back all the way into the left main. Now I have, once I use the cutting balloon, I will use the same cutting balloon to uh, prepare the ostium of the ramus also slightly better. Because an osteal lesion generally. After cutting balloon, you plan to go with the first stent to intermediate artery or, or to LAD? What is your strategy? Uh, probably I will go w work on the LAD first. From LAD, LAD we will stand into the left main. It is an interesting. There is one thought. Yeah, we just discussed yeah. that uh, if uh, the the, uh, at the first intervention done three years ago, maybe stent was not put only to LAD ostium, <coughs> but through LAD ostium to left main, it is maybe better for avoiding resting this. What do you think? Yeah. That's correct. It's better or not? That's correct. I totally agree with I think you. It's better, yeah, definitely. But you know. You, you will put a second uh, la layer of metallic stand uh, in the ostium. The risk of secondary wrist is also much higher. Now, 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 now. 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 Okay. Oh yeah. hmm. This is the, I have to prepare that uh, lesion better. Go up. So now you have a Ramus. balloon or just regular balloon? Because we can... Yeah. Uh, it's a cutting balloon. It's cutting balloon. Negative. Uh, 
Okay. Earlier card? No, dilate the LED. Eh? There is now too much evidence LED, no? using ah. cutting balloon for lesion preparation is uh, better than just the regular balloon, but uh, some people believe that it may be improved the, the results, at least the initial result before stenting. Yeah, I mean, I, I believe that uh, it would improve, especially in an austere lesions. Now we will, what we'll do is uh, we'll go and dilate the LED. LED. This balloon has lost its profile a little bit. We'll see because we used it up in the ramus. <coughs> if it doesn't cross, then I will. I'm going into the LED. You, you are going with the same cutting balloon to LED, yes? That's, that's correct, if I can get through. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, same cutting balloon I'm going up. The flex dome three into six. Okay. And how much atmospheres you use? Because there are also divisions. About ten atmospheres. We are you go ahead. We have gone up very slowly up to about ten atmospheres at this point of time. Negative. The uh, nominal is six. Okay. Yeah, but there is now a tendency to oh, use increase, more. To increase the pressure, yeah. On the other hand, I have to say... Uh, I, I didn't follow. The tendency is to go uh, higher pressures? Balloon and uh, rotablation uh, are uh, rather use rotablation. Uh, uh, it's uh, more yeah. predictable results. Now here, here now we are at, uh, 14, at, at 14 atmospheres. The problem was rotablation and bifurcation that you have to, uh, not to use a secondary wire. It's a secondary branch. You have to do the rotablation first. So it's, it's still, it's still it's a risk. Yeah. Be, before you wiring the side branch, yeah, it is the problem. Epicranium. Epicranium. But we regularly do rotablation of bifurcation because that is one of our uh, very common strategy. Yeah, it's tricky. It is tricky. <laughs> yeah. Now I have a. I will go a little more down. Just. Negative. Go. Up. Negative. Go up. Now we have a, a one other issue. See, that was the standard segment. We have f uh, taken care of that. Take a picture. Now we have a lesion beyond that at the level of the diagonal. Should we start standing across the diagonal or should we stand only from the just the disease segment of the LED? You can, you, you, you can stop your stand just before the diagonal, you have enough space to do that. That's correct, we have space. Yeah, I think there is a room just for standing only a lady. At the side you did, uh, you did cutting with your cutting balloon. So I understand you, okay. uh, you would like to attempt this lesion as the first lesion to be standard, yes? 
yeah uh, what i was thinking is i would uh, do is the led we will stand with the shorter shorter stand maybe a 24 and then take a four, four millimeter stand for the left main uh, overlapping onto the LED stand is what I was originally planning. I have another issue whether I should also do a mini crush for the ramus uh, and then <coughs> implant the stand because technically I have a challenge which you have seen that uh, the ostium of the ramus is a bad origin. I could not get sufficient dilatation with a normal balloon. I had to use a cutting balloon. That means I have mechanically produced a controlled dissection there. So this combination may limit my access into the ramus once I stand there already. What do you think, Ajit? And the only, the only, uh, <coughs> I mean, that's the only issue is the uh, ramus. The ramus seems to be originating from the circumflex. Okay. So if you um, Crushing the le uh, then the circ axis becomes difficult. Okay, I, I hope uh, everybody. I mean, you have followed. Ajit feels that you know that ramus actually from the left main. It is partially from the circumflex ostium. Can you show that uh, leocardal? See, go go forward, forward. Okay, play. You see this picture. Hello. Yes. Losing connection. I mean, we can hear you. After after you uh, treated this ramus, I mean, the images show it comes off from uh, the proximal surface. Uh, yeah, we think that it is yeah. a rather high marginal branch than the real intermediate branch. So it's originated Correct. from circumflex, not from left main. Do you agree or? Ab absolutely, that is giving us the trouble. That is. Uh, I will take uh, now, we have dilated the whole lot. I'll take one more. Uh, um, LA accord, I'll picture and show you. Come to LA accord. Then we'll decide. Okay, that's fine. It's all reconfirmed. So the stent in the hospital. But I remember when you do, did this excellent maneuver with the wire, uh, pulling it uh, back uh, from the circumflex artery, it, uh, it, uh, 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 it entered this uh, ramus rather from circumflex than from left main. It is what we have seen. Absolutely. So, what is your general uh, strategy now after the predilation and uh, cutting of this lesion? Do you want to use, I don't know, uh, we, or we, or Yeah, we, we are waiting for your opinion then. We are advisory board, but there is an asking Short executive, so... <laughs> <laughs> uh, I personally probably... There is a huge uh, difference in diameter between the left main and the uh, LAD and circumflex and this marginal branch, but uh, Plus. maybe crush would be nice or a QLO is also not bad from LAD to left main and from the circumflex to left main. 
then uh, using maybe only a balloon to redilate the ostium of the intermediate drugs. But uh, it is only our uh, proposal for you, so... Well, your other option is... Uh, to me... Uh, 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 your main didn't look uh, much, uh, you you much disease on your nivus. So you can sort of do a V-stent as well. Okay. And, and then follow it up with the balloon into the intermediate as well. Uh, once we put a V-stent, uh, um, there will be a t um, tremendous technical challenge because the, uh, the stent of the circumflex and... Uh, Re LED will be meeting at the point of the origin of the re ramus yeah. or the OM1. Yeah. That time to recross with another stand will be a very, very major hassle. But also, you, you <coughs> would expect, uh, at least in my opinion, the same what was happened after the osteal stenting of LED, that you will have a second restinosis. Chance for this is high with this Absolutely. So I would rather. You are correct. Which assumes that you put your stand from uh, uh, LAD or any other vessel through the left main, through the bifurcation or trifurcation of the left main into left main. That is very much. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to <coughs> fix the mid LED first. Then I'll primary aim is to protect the LED and get an uh, optimal result. And then I would go for the circumflex, uh, to fix both of them, and then finally I will try to reaccess the ramus. If I fail, that's acceptable, but I need the circumflex and uh, LED we fully agree. preserved. Yeah, and we agree. We agree. I, I need the patient to do well. To protect LAD and circumflex and the remus, let's say, is not so much important. Okay. Three. Uh, 24. Three, 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 twenty-four. Samuel, you are working with seven, seven French guiding catheter or six French I'm, I, I, I'm, I'm working with a seven French guiding so catheter. I have a left side access also with me. So you, you have if by any chance I have to use a, th a balloon pump or a three, a three balloon dilatation, I will have an access from the left also. Okay. So with this seven French guiding catheter, you have the possibility to uh, do, if necessary, V stenting. It is in, uh, with two stents at the same inflated at the same time, if you need it. Absolutely, we have all all that uh, uh, all possibilities are available, and especially with the left groin is also available. We should be able to manage. Most of most of the time, we are doing left men with the seven French guiding catheter, or we are also using the sishless sishless from Hazai. You know, the seven French sishless from Hazai for the, from the radial approach also. This is also very effective. Okay. Uh, yeah, I agree with you. Point of view, it Stop. is very important point. You, you just uh, said, Zach, that seven friends for left main uh, bifurcation lesion or distal lesion is much more safer and uh, give you possibility to use different techniques. Six French is maybe for left main shaft or posterior lesion. It's okay, but. Uh, we are using every time. We are using the seven okay. French. Oh, you know, oh, yeah. as the sishless system. No, no. If you, are, you did large bone, yeah, you, are, you need large bone. You know, for me, for to, be con course, to be comfortable. You know? is, uh, stand. The complaint yeah, chart. Complaint chart. <laughs> now you have the room me. of light sheets as well, which uh, seven French sheets is an extent diameter of six. So, I mean, we, un we use radio yeah. for most of these using uh, French guys. The uh, I am I'm using a Biomime um, 24 into 3 and the uh, uh, 11 atmospheres negative. And what is the deployment pressure? <laughs> what was the deployment? 11, 11 atmospheres. Now I'll pull back a little and d deploy it a little better. 12, 13, 
is a very trackable stand all of you have seen without any difficulty it went in negative we went up to 16 and from IVUS we know that uh, vessel size is only small test okay go up Get me a four. Four point five. Yeah, four point five. Uh, come to RAO, please. I want to do the measurement of the length. RAO quarter come. <coughs> See, because because we have a twenty-four millimeter b uh, balloon there, we can roughly estimate what is the length of the stand we need. This is uh, too much of overlap. You have a uh, 18 or 20? Or 4.5 or 19. Yeah, give me a 19, 4.5. The, the LED stand was a 3 millimeter or 3.5 millimeter? 3, 3. three, three. Because uh, I was showed that the distal LED was uh, 2.75 to 3. Uh, those are all post nitro uh, I was images. So. You probably had gone down further with your cutting balloon than when you deployed your stand. So no, I didn't. We, we checked that. I was very conscious of that. You saw the balloons, uh, so, uh, we were inflating a couple of times and deflating immediately. That was at one or two atmospheres. Till we positioned it right, we didn't go up on pressure. Anyway, thank you for pointing out that. Samuel, I understand you would like to cover the LED ostium and uh, the distal part of left main with, the, with that stand, yes? <coughs> That's correct. Okay. Always the discussion is that if you are uh, standing left main, some people say you should cover the entire left main, and some people say maybe it is not necessary. So, what is your opinion and what is your attempt at that case? Uh, we generally would like to cover the uh, full uh, left main because we use very high pressures nowadays. To implant, uh, we can injure the area where there is uh, no stand. Okay, go up. We are just at the ostium. Seven, eight, eight nine. nine. Mind you, part of the stand is into the uh, lady. I don't want to go uh, too high on the pressure. But you do, uh, you did also a POT technique in the <laughs> proximal LED with this. Go up. Negative. I'm going in a little and uh, seven, eight atmospheres to mold the proximal part of the stand. Negative. Now what I'm going to do is while taking out the balloon I have to engage it properly. You have two, I don't want to engage the guiding catheter too deep in because we have two wires under the stand. Epic radio. So the first part, it appears that is done well. 
the LED left main is OK. Now start, we will work on the circumflex. Ramus would be the last. So can we see now the projection uh, which will visualize spider, the, the spider of piece, yeah. uh, circumflex? Spider oh, sure. We will do that. We will do that. Hello, <coughs> Cordo. Table, more, little more LA. Okay. Okay. Get me another C on wire, please. So you you, you need to rewire the circ first. Yeah, I'll rewire the circ first. Good. And I would uh, probably re rewire the ray muscle. Sam, are you going to use a false wire? We, 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 we like to uh, stay with the three wires in place and use another one to, to rewire. Or are you using the LED that, That's right. No, I'm, I will not move the LED wire till I complete the case. <coughs> because that is my primary access which I will protect. Samuel, what do you think about the concept to redilate again the ostial of Ramos before you put a stand to circumflex? Or you I will. There is not I will. Necessary? I will do that. I am taking the wire first to a lady. Okay, then pull back. Now it is important to be inside of the stand in the left main and now between the stand and the artery wall. Two millimeter burn. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. You may need a more powerful wire to recross, you know. Uh, wait, wait. The other thing which helps, but obviously you've got two trapped wires, is uh, to do a pots now, and your cell size increases, and it might help you to recross. But you've obviously got two trapped wires. Yeah. Okay, uh, give me a uh, field of FC, please. Uh, sometimes uh, the field of wires with the coating helps to rewire. What is the wire you use, Samuel, now for this recrossing? I've, I've taken a Sion. Sion blue. Keep that uh, wire safely. I don't need what it. What do you do about uh, these thoughts about trapping wires? Because uh, not long back, uh, you're not supposed to tra trap a polymer jacketed wire, and I, presuming these are all cyan wires, these are all polymer jacketed. So you have got two polymer jacketed wires. You know, we, we, we really don't care. We are using uh, the hydrophilic polymer. That's right. For every bifurcation, we don't care. I guess for left mains you trap it only for a short distance and you very rarely have any problem. If it's further downstream, that's, uh, I guess, can be a bit more tricky. <coughs> so
So you modified the tip somewhere or what you did? <coughs> yes, I took another wire. Another wire. It is again cyan? Uh, it's a fielder. fielder. It's a fielder wire. It's a fielder wire. A fielder, wire. A fielder FC. What's fielder? Fielder FC. FC. Okay. FC. Not so aggressive. No. So what is Epic order, please. Not working, Mike. Because the trapped wire, the guiding is uh, pu pushed down. <laughs> okay. Come to uh, LA Corner. Okay, stay there. Stay there. Okay. <coughs> now uh, I'll take a two millimeter balloon. Uh, Compliant balloon, please. Yeah. Regular. Twelve. Twelve. We are, I think we only have another 15 minutes left. You are going to open the cell with a non compliant balloon or regular balloon? Uh, to open the balloon with <coughs> a regular balloon because this gives me a little more advantage by the profile. Okay, yeah. I'll take the other one. If, uh, Post uh, uh, initial dilatation, then we may uh, go up with a non compliant balloon. Negative. Table plot. <laughs> Which is the balloon which you took? It's a 212 mosaic. 212. We have taken a 212 mosaic compliant. So the uh, now what I'm going to do is... No. At what point would you think removing your trapped wire? Uh, I'm removing one trapped wire now, the circumflex. Because once the balloon crossed, I know I'm safe to do that. And uh, go ahead. We'll dilate that. You have the second trap wire in intermediate, so I understand. Yes, we have. See, uh, once I open the struts, I may be able to get uh, the other wire in. I mean, the way your trap wire came, came out, it suggests your left main stent is not well deployed yet, so. Yeah. We had a reasonably good resistance pulling the one trapped wire. Talker. Okay. Okay. <coughs> w 
What balloon did you use for op for opening the struts? 2.5 millimeter diameter? Uh, uh, mosaic mosaic 2.5. 2.5. Maybe it's not. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, you know, uh, yeah, it's not adequate, but um, uh, let us see. If I can get this wire into the ramus, things would be a little more easier. Oh, what I'm going to do is, Walter. AP Gordon. Test. Okay, this is the uh, I this is the old wire, right? This is the old wire, old circumflex wire. Old VM, circumflex VM. wire, and uh, new circumflex wire. This one. Okay, I'll try to get the the fielder wire back. You are going to use a fielder XT, uh, fielder FC wire for rewiring the intermediate branch. <laughs> I am trying that because yeah. anyway Helio there is two wires there. Helio call. Small. There it goes, Epicon. Thank you. So now I will take the Ramus old wire out. Okay. Okay. Now we have the now you have a very balloon good in the position for further interventions because all of the arteries are rewired. Correct. Mm -hmm. So the, the next step will be to open the uh, ostial of the diagonal no. branch of the balloon no, no, or the cutting no, balloon. Intermediate, intermediate. And now I won't use a cutting balloon again. Yeah, for the intermediate branch. Yeah. <laughs> now what I'm going to do is uh, I'll try if a stand crosses without difficulty what pressure we went up to. 14. <coughs> this is the Ramus, right? This is the Ramus. Give me that um, uh, a three NC balloon. You crush on the rimus. Yeah, I'll I'll do the three NC short balloon. I will open the st struts properly. Did this. And what's your plan? How to? Uh, what are your thoughts about de dealing with this, sir? What okay, uh, my my what um, what my plan is going to be now. <coughs> I'll dilate the circostium well and get a three millimeter stent there what across the, the ramus. Uh, it's a um, what tap? It's a tap. For the circ, 
and um, then I'll have a 4.5 balloon in the or 5 millimeter balloon in the left main. Deploy those two properly, and finally I'll get a, a I mean, go across the strut into the ramus and do a kissing Come there. Back. Let's change from here. Uh, this part is a little. So now the, there's some control. disease there. We'll take a picture. Uh, do we have a short stand? Any eight millimeter? Yes. Sir. Okay. Three eight. Go up. We'll use a, because distally it is disease. I don't need a very long stand there. Negative. Yeah. Three into eight stand and uh, five millimeter balloon. And on Ivis, because what, uh, the, what was the size of your prox circumflex uh, on Ivis? Main was five. You trap the fielder. Uh. So now, once we do this, we have only one tapped wire. That is the tapped wire in the the ramus. That would be the last to come out, and we'll try and fix that too. We don't want to open again the ostium of the ramus, of the ramus branches uh, branch before the putting the stent in the circumflex. We are supposed to do that first, no? I ramus I didn't dilate because I have already used a cutting balloon and prepared the leaf. So now you are going where? I'm going to the uh, circ with stand with the stand five millimeter balloon yeah. and a five millimeter balloon in the LED. Okay, and it is three point oh stand. This is a three point oh short uh, short stand. Technically, it will be a challenge to position that. Yes. But I have some distal disease in a circumflex. I, I have to manage that. Samuel, to, to precisely place a stent in a bifurcation lesion like that, we are currently using the stent boost or equivalent clear stent from Siemens. I'm sure that you have the system in your lab. Are you oh, using we, it? We, uh, uh, Philips, I've got a. Yes, we will be doing it. Okay, LED stand uh, balloon is in position. So you want to do a tap, yes? TAP. Yes. Okay. Uh, uh, take off the cranial, alcohol. Okay, stand boost here. Make it smaller. So tough is a minimal uh, protrusion of the uh, stand in circumflex into the left main and immediate uh, crushing. Yep. Are you recorded? Stand boost looks quite good. Okay. Again, a stand boost.
Gua apa dia? Oh, gua what? Yep. We are deploying the because being a short stand, it's a very major challenge. This one eight. Negative. I'll come back a little, deploy it properly. Okay. Negative. Now we leave it there. We will deploy the LED stand correctly. Okay, go up. Seven, eight, nine. This is a 3.5 balloon or Negative. four balloon, four millimeter balloon. No, this is a five millimeter balloon. Okay, go up, Ajit. It's not come back, sir. No, I come back. Go. Go. Seven, eight, Seven. nine. Uh, okay, work. come down to five. Three. Very, very complex. Negative. Go. We'll take that balloon out or mm -hmm. <laughs> just two, yeah. two atmosphere. You're out of the stand. Huh? You're out of the stand, sir. Okay. Deploying the other stand. Ne negative. This here I can uh, deploy safely because I have uh, trapped the Ramus wire only in the circumflex. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> This Ramos is not bad. Ramos doesn't look bad, but okay, a picture. Okay. Now what our plans are? I'm going to access the Ramos from the left main. I'm not. Because now the left main is open well, the circ also open well, we, the carina has shifted. Carina has shifted towards the, uh, the left main. So I would uh, be able to get, the, get another stand into the ramus and um, we should be done Do with that. Do you think, Samuel, that the ostium of this uh, remus was not covered by the stand you implanted <coughs> uh, a while before the circle? <coughs> it is covered. So so hold to rewire again the, the intermediate oh. range. That's correct. Going back to the initial uh, drug looting balloon suggestion, and we have had a fair bit of experience in these situations, and uh, often you have a positive yeah. remodeling over time. So uh, rather that than it only balloon, uh, uh, this uh, is the uh, uh, now uh, this, uh, drug this balloon was the circ three three nine circ. Okay, okay. That is the uh, remus. Okay, remus. Uh, give me uh, that uh, C on wire again. Uh, I just hold both. I think um, another five minutes we'll go five to ten minutes once I'm able to wire the ramus then okay. things would be Samuel, much more. What about the heparin treatment? Are you checking the ACT? Uh, we have not checked. We, we are given uh, sufficient I think six and a half thousand. Six and a half thousand units. Hundred units of heparin per kilogram body weight. Okay. Usually it lasts, in, in our experience, lasts quite well, at least for two hours. Yeah, yeah. 
to me in ACT anyway. Anyway, now that you have asked, we will not deny you that figure. We will give it to you now. Get the ACT, please. We are only checking for left man, very complex procedure and prolonged procedure, you know, but for every case. Yeah, we check uh, Correct. the procedure is uh, more than one hour. We always check and eventually add more. Shall I take it? I check it in 15 minutes. You uh, take it from there. Uh, after the appearance is given. And then if it's therapeutic, uh, uh, then it depends upon the length. I may not check it afterwards anymore if it's a relatively straightforward case. Uh, but obviously in long cases of CTOs, you check it every half an hour. Okay, I, I put, I put that wire into the LED, coming back, pulling back into the left main. It is fell into the circumflex ostium. And here we are trying to get into the remit. So you want to repeat the same maneuver you did for rewiring of intermediate mm -hmm. and high Again, a Zion uh, wire. Are you using a Zion wire? Yes. Uh, yeah, it's a Zion wire. So when you uh, do these cases, which is yes. active, this is for the panel, uh, what dose of heparin do you give? Is there a standard dose? Do you give it uh, for body weight? Yeah, 100, 100 micrograms per kilogram body weight. 100 unit, unit, sorry. Yeah? sorry. Do you do it uh, 100 units per kilogram? Yeah. Do you have any elective yeah, cases? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 100 per kilogram. It is our... First dose, uh, okay. standard dose, and then uh, we rather not check ACT routinely, but we check uh, after almost one hour after the intervention is prolonged, so we check it. We, we, the usual dose we are using for uh, regular uh, PCI is with the heart, 15, 15 units per kilogram. We are using half of those, but we are checking after uh, 30 to 40 minutes, CT if necessary. How it is in France with uh, bivalirudine? Do you use it or no, not? No, no, not, not at all. We, we, we start using it now. Uh, well, we use it for STEMIs, but after the heat, primary, uh, heat peak primary PCI, sort of, uh, we have moved away from it a bit. In Poland, it is uh, dead. Yeah, because of, of these uh, results yeah. of uh, the heat PCI in uh, primary PCI, and it is also much more expensive, so uh, we don't use it at all. I, mean, uh, I dose it at 80 units per kilogram, especially for electives, and but there is work from Newcastle with using 50 for a uh, single vessel electric PCI with no problems at all. You talk about the unfractionated. Unfractionated uh, happen, yeah. I do have a technical challenge that ostium is yeah, yeah, really now, tight. Now it is very tricky because you have uh, a second stand, so... Give me a fielder XT. Yes, you, you have to cross the struts of the stand, too, so it's much more difficult. Absolutely. Maybe you can use again and uh, okay. fielder, more rigid, you know. Yeah, we are and using... Smaller and smaller. Th thank you for the comment. Uh, yeah, we are doing that. Hopefully we will get through.
and Samuel S for double antiplatelet therapy. She is on aspirin and clopidogrel, or or what? Brilliant. Ticagrelor. Ticagrelor. Okay, so you use for elective interventions yeah. ticagrelor as well. <laughs> like this uh, we would prefer because the non-responders in the clopidogrel group is significant. In your yes. center, Jacques, you reserved uh, this new uh, uh, antiplatelet yes. for yes. Uh, ACS yeah. only? Yes, yes, yeah. definitely, yes. And in your case? Yeah, yeah, I mean, uh, there is no evidence that new antiplatelets is any better than clopidogrel in elective cases, so, and we can justify the cost. So yeah. for elective cases, it's we only clopidogrel. We, we, we just switch if we have a secondary stent thrombosis on clopidogrel yeah. systematically. It is, it is very important uh, message to transmit that if you have a Come to epicardus. So it is maybe better to switch to ticagrel or prasugrel. And we prefer prasugrel. Uh, we got the wire in. Stronger medication. Yeah. Yeah, in, in a way that shows the difference of Are quality we? of the different wires, you know, how the way this no, wire handled the bend compared to the assigned wire. Go Leo. Okay. See, the one disadvantage with this wire is the visibility is very poor. Yeah. Great. Okay. We are in business. Yeah, yeah. Two millimeter balloon. Okay. Uh, 1.5 balloon? 1.5 balloon. Okay. So uh, show me the... Kissing inflation, circumflex and uh, ramus. Because I cannot afford to lose this. Sir, sir, build up. Nine. Or twelve. Mm. Okay, I'll get a balloon to support me to get this wire <laughs> down. I, I'm taking a 1.5 balloon. Once I do that, I would uh, prepare this lesion to receive a stand. And uh, then I would uh, have the second guiding coming in through the left groin. Samuel, if after ballooning, of this uh, uh, osteal lesion in intermediate artery, you will have an acceptable <coughs> result with stimmy 3 flow. You will still think about the stent or not? Uh, I will think about the stent or I will have to use a, a, I will have to use a, um, a drug eluding balloon. I don't know who suggested the uh, one of you advisors uh, who who has the experience the, with the drug eluding balloon I don't have much that's why uh, who, yes we, who we was have, uh, experience in drug eluding balloon for bifurcation uh, we, we had a publication in your intervention in January so it was really excellent uh, and geographic results, uh, and we we have shown in uh, uh, s many patients an over dilatation of the secondary branch after using this uh, secondary balloon. Uh, so, positive remodeling, positive remodeling of the secondary branch also. Hmm. Okay. Okay, we have got a balloon in. So you cannot go cross, up. I see with this uh, this even one. this small balloon. Which is the second one. In, uh, 
You will remove the second uh, fill rate. So one, one minute. So I'm removing the fielder wire. Okay. Too many wires confuses. Okay, go up. Negative. Epic, uh, epic order, I want to get this wire down a little more. It's in a branch. Oh, it's in a branch. In a side branch there. But from the perspective of the osteal lesion, it is maybe not so yeah. important if you are in the side branch or in the yeah. main artery. This is a fielder XT, that's why it gets into all the small branches. Test. I will leave it there. I, I don't yeah, want yeah, to. Yeah, yeah, we agree. It's better yeah. it's as it is. Get a two millimeter balloon. Go up again. We have a two millimeter balloon. No? Uh, give me a 2.5 millimeter balloon. Compliant. No, 2.5. 2.5 millimeter balloon, and uh, or you, uh, and give me the 3 millimeter balloon back. I want to keep it in the circ. I mean, recrossing of the biomime stents are technically not uh, too bad. It's quite, uh, quite good. I mean, we have a real uh, difficult, complex situation to get into the ramus. Still, the balloon crossed without any difficulty. So now you will take just the regular balloon just to redirect. I'm taking a regular 2.5 mosaic and uh, give a long dilatation. But simultaneously, I'll be protecting the circumflex uh, also because uh, uh, I cannot make out. Um, are you going to do a kissing balloon Try inflation? That. Three millimeter in the circle. Yes. Two point five in the. In the circle. As you know, maybe you know that <laughs> in France uh, the rate of uh, kissing inflation at the end of bifurcation is decreasing a lot. So we are maybe I, changing, I, I changing our faces and we are now more and more using the, only the pot technique. After we, so we, we open the struts, we are di dilating the secondary bronze, Table. we are finishing with a pot technique without any kissing balloon inflation. I mean, I read a couple of articles of, uh, from France. Two, I mean, uh, it uh, makes double. absolute sense. <coughs> Three. Huh? Huh. <coughs> Neither in. Yeah, no, it's a not very convincing result. This is an NC balloon, no? Uh, uh, NC is okay. Yeah, uh, oh. double balloon is better than not, and the port is just for the optimization of the proximal yeah. part of the stand in the main vessel. <coughs> Well, from your Nordic studies, it showed that uh, whether you kiss or you don't kiss, uh, in terms of uh, real-life outcomes, there's no difference. Uh, the only difference is uh, binary restenosis, uh, but that's an angiographic finding rather than a clinical finding. So. Early accorded. More early. Get a regular balloon. Yeah. Uh, three. Nine. 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 
Do apelite. Other thing to remember is every time you kiss, you cause approximate deformations. You depart again at the end of it. So potentially, you depart a part of the circumflex tendon, port the left main again at the end. Yeah, I see that now the time of the angioplasty for a very complex lesion is almost like the time for surgery. <laughs> yeah. We ourselves are asking for it. But at least in, in Europe we deal with uh, more and more complex coronary artery disease because we treat more and more old patients. I think it's the same in France. Yeah. Okay. I remember 15 years ago or 20 years ago Primary angioplasty mm. was done in the patients in the 50s. Now there are 70s, 80s, 90s. Uh, okay. Our oldest is we'll on that. So. Okay, go up on this also. लंबा सांस लेकर ओके छोड़ दीजिए आई विल जस्ट पुल द बलून बैक अ लिटिल ओके What our plan is, uh, the ramus looks great. We will give a long dilatation for the uh, ramus uh, and probably use a drug eluding balloon there, which is all going to take time. Overall, what we wanted to showcase and achieve, we uh, almost achieved. We will end off the procedure with uh, um, three balloons uh, and uh, pot the left main properly and that would take another 15-20 minutes. I don't want to delay you for that. Uh, the teaching part of this case is almost achieved. If you all agree, you can move on to the uh, your next program or you can continue to stay with us. Uh, anyway, before um, uh, we sign off, I want to thank Merrill and uh, all your group, Sanjay, of course, uh, the excellent, excellent uh, chairpersons, Adam and J Jackus, and all the other group there. Thank you for coming to India. Thank you for having me live. And Rajit, of course, uh, we have been working for more than 20 years together and excellent cath lab staff uh, who works with us. Okay. Congratulations. Whatever you want, you decide. Great case. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. <laughs>